Hello there, I am Dylan John, and all of that footage and the example footage you're about to see are all shot with the Sony 35 f1.8. I've owned a lot of Sony lenses, and this is actually the lens I turn to the most for a couple of reasons. For one, the size and weight of this lens makes it so easy to carry around on your camera all day, and because of that, it's a solid choice for gimbal work as well. Actually, I think as far as Sony full-frame lenses go, aside from the pancake lenses they released, this is one of the smallest. Next to my Sigma 24-70, this thing looks unbelievably small, and it's actually 27% of the weight of the Sigma. Obviously, there's gonna be a difference when comparing a prime to a zoom lens, but even next to the 24GM, there's a noticeable size difference, and the 35 is pretty much half the weight of the 24. In saying that, this lens has been so amazing to travel with. It doesn't take up much space, and it helps to not make my already heavy camera bag even heavier. The next reason this lens is great for video is because of the quality of shots it produces. As you've seen in some of these example shots, this lens looks good, especially considering you can buy it new on Amazon for about 750 bucks. Compared to some of my other lenses that I've sold organs for, it is pretty affordable. And if you want a used one, you can find it from about 400 to $500 on Amazon and eBay. It's also very sharp wide open. I find that I'm just shooting on f1.8 most of the time and I stop down when a situation calls for it. I do realize the fact that it's a 1.8 may turn some people off from the lens, but I personally rarely wish that it was a faster lens, especially because the low light performance of some of these Sony cameras are incredible. The third reason this lens is great for video is because of how quick and accurate the autofocus is. For such an inexpensive lens, relatively speaking, I'm always shocked at how smooth it's able to focus. The other big thing to note is that unlike the 35 millimeter GM lens, this lens has very little little to no focus breathing at all. It is buttery smooth, it's fast when it needs to be, and it is accurate. I have never had an issue with it. Reason number four is that the 35 millimeter focal length is such a great medium between wide and portrait shots. If you need to take a step back from your subject and take in more of the scene, you can do so easily and it looks wide enough. You can also move closer for more of a portrait shot and not have a ton of distortion happen to your subject's face. It's a great medium, and if I were to pick up one focal length to take out shoes, Shooting, it'd probably be a 35. It is a great lens for YouTube videos in my opinion. I actually use this lens for every single one of the talking head portions of my YouTube videos. For example, like right now what you're seeing is with the 35 1.8. The last thing to note is that the build quality is fairly decent for such a lower price lens. The barrel and focusing ring feel all metal, so if you happen to nick it up against something while ninja walking backwards furiously with your gimbal, it should hold up pretty well. The weather ceiling is also pretty solid. I've shot with this in some fairly heavy rain and the lens did fine and I haven't had any fungus or mold in the lens and I live in a tropical humid place so if the ceiling was bad I would know by now. So who should pick up this lens? I would say that if you don't have the biggest budget to pick up the latest greatest gear then this lens is an amazing bang for your buck option and even if you do have the money for top of the line lenses this is still a great option. If you do a lot of gimbal work and you need reliable autofocus then this lens is tried and true. And if you travel a lot or you shoot long hour days and thus weight and size are really an important factor for you, then this may be a good fit. However, if you're someone who wants something faster than an f1.8, or you prefer your lens to be unbelievably sharp, then check out the 35 millimeter f1.4 GM. Or for a cheaper option, you can also try out Sigma's 35 f1.4. I actually haven't tried out this lens, but their art series lenses are always choice. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.